going on? This is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the newest version of GarageBand. This is the version that has been released with OS X uh, Mavericks, and it is free for people who purchased a uh, piece of hardware in the last few months. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do here is take a very, very basic look at what we have uh, going on in this new version. We're going to first go over here to Empty Project. If we go to Empty Project, you can see it loads out and it comes back in like this and you're able to work with uh, several different instruments. You can work with a drum, a couple of pieces of audio here you can work with, um, use your microphone or, or line input. You can use this for your amp, uh, you can play with the guitar, and here you can use this stuff, stuff from your Mac. Now if I go to each one of these, it shows me a little bit more about what I'm gonna be working with. And th though a lot of this stuff looks new to a person who's never used a, uh, for example, a piece of audio creation software before, Apple does a really good job of letting you know what each little, little piece is and each little uh, part is for what you are going to do to make a new beat. When you start something new like this, as you can see, it uh, drops something in there for you automatically just so you can see what it's all about. There's a whole bunch of sounds here, you know, a massive amount, but as you can see here, uh, if you click on something that you don't have installed here, you can go ahead and go purchase more of it. So there are quite a few in uh, what we normally call in-game purchases, but you know in-app purchases like that uh, throughout the uh, application. Now if I go over here to, if I want to go back to that first screen I was at, I go back over here to new. I go ahead and don't save because we didn't do anything. Uh, we can go ahead and look at songwriter. Inside songwriter, we'll see a slightly different interface. Let's get rid of that little thing there. You'll see we have each of our different uh, instruments sitting up here. We have a modern stack, natural strum, tracking vocal. These are all things that we're going to be using to create different parts of a song. Now this also has this, these uh, preset uh, sounds over here on the left that you can purchase or you can use uh, based on what you have on your computer at the time. Down here you have more controls. As you can see right here we have controls over the drums for example. Go to our symbols up there like that. And we have one basic style here. You can do rock, alternative, songwriter, or R&B. Now we're going to go check out the rest of these. One of the more interesting additions here is ringtone. If you go into this song maker, you can use a, a wide variety of things that are built in right away. If I have this uh, blueprint beat number three, go ahead and toss it over here. Give it a listen. Now what you can do is stack a bunch of sounds here really, really simply. Uh, one on top of the other and make yourself a new you know, ringtone. So if I put this right here, at the end, right around here, and I play it again. I could use that for a ringtone. Exporting that is really, really simple. It's actually really similar to what you use uh, in iMovie, and that'll be able to work right out of the box for a thing like your iPhone. Last thing we're going to look at right here is hip hop. Hip hop gives you a console, something similar to what you're using with the other different sorts of deals like that, but you get things like master mix and regular mix right here. You can pop those out, pop those in again, go to an equalizer instead, and we've got lots of things that work a lot more naturally with hip hop sort of things. As you can see, uh, this software is surprisingly powerful compared to the previous versions. You also have things, uh, these are these are all, by the way, these are all making the places where you're gonna make music. Over here you have additional things, like you can go to recent projects you've been at, uh, go to the lesson store, you can purchase all kinds of different lessons for guitar, piano, and different kind of artists. And then here you have your learn to play collection, which is where all of your lessons are stored. Just go look at intro to guitar quick here. Once you're inside, in a moment here, you'll see that it takes over the entire uh, screen here. You can plug your guitar in to play it, or you can just watch them play it as well. Hi, I'm Tim. This is the first in a series of lessons that will help you learn how to play the guitar. Real simple. This part is all right, uh, included right out of the box, as was that one about chords. Uh, but you, again, you can buy a bunch of different things in the app too. Check it out.